So I'm going to be uh, comparing the latency from interfaces into live. Uh, I'm going to have three of them. The first one is the Focusrite Scarlet Solo, and the next one is the M Audio Fast Track Pro, and then the third one is the Lexicon Lambda. Uh, I'm going to be working on a, uh, a MacBook Pro Retina 15 inch. It's the mid 2014, has a 2.5 gigahertz Intel Core i7. Um, you can read all that down here. I'm going to be bringing up the driver error compensation test uh, scenario for Ableton Live that's built in. Uh, first, I will I have the Scarlet Solo already set up. I'm going to get rid of any driver compensation. I'm going to make sure it's at 128 samples. I'll go ahead and record this. And I'll check this one. Turn the warp off. One, two, three, four. So that one's about four milliseconds for the Focusrite Scarlet Solo. Plug in the M Audio Fast Track Pro. Let's see. There it is. Um, I'm still doing 128 samples, uh, zero driver error compensation. Um, I've noticed that with the fast track, I'm getting a little bit of um, just standard noise. Go back into my view. And I'll record it. Okay. So here, I'll turn off the warp. And again, this is the M Audio Fast Track Pro. This has uh, just two inputs. And that one is doing pretty well but that's at 14 milliseconds so the fast track pro is uh, a little bit slower and now I'm going to the lexicon lambda 128 samples back into the arrangement view selector wow um, it looks like this one, the Lexicon Lambda, might have just like one millisecond of delay. Uh, it's a little bit in between zero and one, so maybe like a point seven. But yeah, this one has the uh, the best sort of or the lowest amount of latency, so. If you're checking them out, then if you can throw out a little bit more for the Lexicon Lambda, it seems like it might be worth it.